Hello everyone, this is HTJ Halloween, and today I am going to be unboxing and setting up Abandoned Annie from Spirit Halloween. So you guys know how much I absolutely love doll props. They're always one of my favorites every single year, and Abandoned Annie definitely is one of those. I love the mouth opening, uh, you know, creepy little doll to demon voice situation that it has going on. It has that creepy rising doll animation that I absolutely love. And I think it has been repurposed so well on this girl and she has such an awesome look. I have not seen her in person since my trip to the flagship. So I am super excited to be opening up this box for the first time today. I haven't even peeked in um, and showing you guys all of the parts and how Abandoned Annie is set up. I'm tempted to think that based off just how large this box is that she just comes fully put together, which would be kind of disappointing because I can't get an instructional setup out of it. Um, but it would be make it a lot easier today that I would just be able to pop it open and we'd be done. Um, but before I get into that, I do first just want to shout out my Instagram at HGJ underscore Halloween. If you guys want to go ahead and check me out over there, you definitely can get a lot more content from me on a more regular basis. Um, and over there, you'll be seeing things a little bit more behind the scenes. I post pictures um, of boxes of the props that I'm buying and kind of update you a little bit more on the video schedule and stuff like that. So definitely go ahead and check that out. A link will be down in the description. But without further ado, let's go ahead and open up a abandoned Annie. I am definitely so excited to be opening up this box. Hopefully I can catch everything well on the camera. Um, and yeah, just based on how giant the box is, it seems to be pretty much her size. So I do think that it probably just comes fully made. Um, but I'll still get an unboxing out of it nonetheless. Here is, you know, right on the top, we just have this cardboard piece. And let's pop that open. Which way does it, does it go here? Kind of is like no, most of the time those just come out right away. Okay, yeah, it was attached a little bit deeper here. I know, I guess there is something going on there. It isn't just fully set up. As you can see here, this is what's inside the box. Kind of hard to maneuver it around. Um, and it, you know, you can see your head is not attached together. Hopefully, that's how it's supposed to be. Uh, so it looks a little bit strange. Um, let's see. Okay, oh, I took that off. All right. And see, there's the top piece of her head right here that just came off. And so, I guess, you know, somehow that is going to attach in. I don't really see how, but there it is. You can see that well. Yeah. Really, really awesome. I definitely love the design of Abandoned Annie here. Um, and now let's go ahead and pop out the rest of this. Let me see if I can adjust this angle. It's right there, because I'm going to be pulling this all out of the box. All right. It's just one big piece. So it pretty much does all come together. It's kind of stuck in there a little bit. Uh, what's going on? Oh, her arms move around, actually. Oh, okay, so the entire square base comes out of here. That's why it's like coming up just so perfect, sliding right on out. So you can see that. So see her base look like, fits just perfectly in there and they have it already attached so I mean this is what it's looking like and unfortunately I don't see any instructions so I'm you know kind of concerned that the head was already supposed to be attached because here is the entire rest of the body so and she actually has, I was feeling, she has like entire plastic legs underneath of here with feet and everything. It looks like something was spilled on this, but it has like full plastic legs. I thought it would just be one pole because you can't even ever see those with feet designs. So that's kind of interesting. Something I did not, did not know. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and figure out what's going on here with the um, head and then uh, I will come back once I figured it out. 
So guys, I'm starting to worry that mine might have come broke because there isn't anything that is directly obvious to attach this onto the head here. And just as I was going in the box though, one thing I did notice is that there's this little metal uh, pole right here, tiny little metal thing. And um, it just seems like it should have already come fully together. I don't know if it could have fit in the box if it was, which is what has me wondering. Um, but one thing that I just did notice on my own is that there is holes there's a hole right there. Can't get it to focus on that thing and on that thing. And then on the head, there actually is, if you can see on the inside here, a hole right there and another hole on the other side. So I'm thinking that this needs to stick through the head and all the way through those plastic pieces in order to attach it because otherwise the head is just like resting on the top of this thing. I highly doubt that that is how they all come because I think that that would just be like super confusing and would make no sense and they would have to come with instructions to explain that. Um, so I'm hoping that I can get mine to work. Otherwise, I am going to have to return it and get a new one. So you see, in order to stick it through this hole, I actually am having to pull this uh, wig off of it and because the glue is right over top of where the hole is and so this definitely was a issue with manufacturing because I don't see how this possibly could have like fallen apart in the box just the way that it would have had to have fallen out of these two holes somehow leaving this glue intact and it would have been all the way through these two holes it just doesn't really make any sense so this was definitely a manufacturing malfunction which is kind of disappointing because i'm hoping that you know a lot of them aren't turning out like this because that would be an absolute disaster but um hopefully this video helps if yours did turn out like this because i think i should be able to get it to work once i hook this up Okay, so that was luckily a success. Um, kind of made this unboxing video a little bit more interesting than it was gonna be. But um, this was clearly, like I said, a manufacturing issue because you can see here that it obviously was supposed to come all in one piece in the box at first, which is probably what most of you will be seeing when you open her up. And um, you can see that it was supposed to just go through and just barely, barely stick out, just pretty much lay flush. And then this hot glue, where they hot glue down the wig, is supposed to secure it and cover it up. And that's exactly how she's supposed to be. That was obviously not supposed to be something that I had to figure out and do on my own. So later I will go ahead and glue down the wig to secure everything in place. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and insert four AA batteries she does not come with an adapter. She just has a battery pack um, on the back right here where you put in the batteries right there. And then um, I will go ahead and turn her on and give her a go. So I'm gonna leave the battery pack open because I'm gonna take the batteries out afterward. I don't have her volume fully up because I'm filming this kind of late, but right now I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it on to sensor mode. I don't know what on mode means. I don't know if that means it will just keep on. Please play with me. I'm so lonely. I won't be anymore now that you're here. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's kind of violent. I definitely think I want to put, you know, that hot glue in so that thing doesn't start moving. But there you go, that was pretty freaking cool. Come a little closer. Here's the classic phrase. Wow. Love that. All right, guys, so that is going to be it for my unboxing of Abandoned Annie. It should have been a lot smoother and easier than it was, even though it was still a pretty quick one, but she definitely is supposed to come fully made in the box, so for most of you, that's probably what you'll be experiencing. Although this definitely was not an issue with it having been like thrown around in shipment or something because there's no way that it could have broken in the fashion that it did. So that means that this had to have been a manufacturing issue. So I'm hoping that it's not gonna be a very common one, um, but I did have to deal with it here. So if it's something that you guys are also experiencing, then hopefully this video helped. But anyways, that was kind of a strange unboxing of Abandoned Annie because I had to do a little bit of fixing. But nonetheless, I hope that you all enjoyed and she is a really, really awesome one for the 2019 season. So there will not be a uh, instructional setup 
of her because obviously she is supposed to come fully made like this, but there still will be a review to look out for, so that will be coming soon, so stay tuned on the channel. All right, guys, I hope you all are having a great Halloween season. I sure am. There is a lot more to come, so again, stay tuned and subscribe. Down in the description, there will be a link to my HGJ Halloween Instagram, like I said at the beginning of the video, and there will also be a link to Spirit Halloween's website if you want to get Abandoned Annie, who I highly recommend, or anything else on that website, that is the place to shop. And if you buy anything on that link, you'll be helping out me and the channel. And of course, there'll be an up-to-date 20% off coupon code for you to get a discount on these prices. And lastly, there will also be a link to the HGJ Halloween merch shop. If you want to check out any HGJ Halloween designs, I would greatly appreciate it. All right, guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.